Welcome to Paul's Money Tips, where you'll discover insider secrets on how to save time, energy, and money when buying, selling, refinancing, renovating, and maintaining your home. This episode is brought to you by Paul Benezra of Cascade Equity Group, Inc., a trusted mortgage provider serving all of Washington State and its local communities since 2003. Now, here's your money tips. Like most people, you probably have lots of days when things go wrong and it's hard to feel grateful about what's happening in your life. However, researchers are discovering that people who develop a consistent attitude of gratitude enjoy huge benefits. Expressing gratitude means being aware of the good things that happen to you and never taking them for granted. The very act of being grateful puts you in a more positive mood with more overall life satisfaction and happiness. In one study, participants who wrote down five things they felt grateful for once a week for 10 weeks reported feeling less stress, more optimism, and contentment. Who wouldn't want that? When participants wrote gratitude letters to significant people in their lives, they experienced greater joy and more meaningful relationships. An attitude of gratitude even promotes better health. Grateful people report fewer headaches, nausea, acne, anxiety, depression, and get this, they spend more time exercising. The good news is that an attitude of gratitude can be cultivated. Here are five simple steps to help you feel more grateful so you can enjoy the many benefits. Step one, express gratitude. Make a point of telling others how thankful you are to have them in your life and mean it. Step two, gratitude reminders. When you notice yourself feeling down about something, try to think of four to five related things you're grateful for. For example, if you're stressed out at work, think of some of the things you're grateful for about your job. Step three, strategic comparisons. Instead of feeling inadequate by comparing yourself to others who are more fortunate than you, compare yourself with those less fortunate and feel grateful. Step four, journal. Every day, write down three to five things you feel grateful for. Not only does this help you focus on the abundance in your life, it gives you something uplifting to read when you're feeling low. Step five, make it a group ritual. Over dinner every evening or once a week, ask each family member to tell one thing that happened that day that they feel grateful for. So there you have it. I've just given you five easy ways to bring more gratitude and joy into your life without the negative side effects. For more information on how to use your mortgage to accelerate your wealth and put a smile on your face, call us today. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Paul's Money Tips. If you have any questions or comments, please call Paul today at 425-272-2723.